Homeland, final season. Yeah. How does it feel? Feels like a lot of things. It's a very, lot of emotion. Yeah, it's complex. I mean, I've been living with this show for almost a decade. You know, when we started, I was barely married. Now we're ending. We have a family. We're a family of four. You know, we've traveled all over the globe. It's been a lot. I mean, Carrie Matheson is a lot, but actually the experience of just making it was a really profound undertaking, and it was beautiful and wonderful, and I'm, you know, you, you know, of course you build a family with the people you work with in, these, in this intimate way. and you know. So, so yeah, it's a big thing, but I'm ready. It's, it's time, and I'm, I'm really happy with the overall shape of the season, and I think we end it well. I mean, I hope audiences agree, but yeah. we... We well, sure worked hard on it. <laughs> yeah. People are going to miss Carrie and, and I hope Saul. So. I mean, what, uh, your I last mean, scene will. was with Mandy, right? Yeah. My, well, uh, my, not in my last scene of the season, but my last kind of, kind of critical scene was with Mandy, which was very emotional. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I was, it, was, it, was an, it was a big one, and it was rough, and, you know. And, uh, what do you do to get out of well, that? Well, I knew, I knew it was going to be tough, and so I rewarded myself with um, a treat at the end of the day, and I went to, I was going to see Hustlers. Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, if, if you're having a rough time, yeah. Hustlers is the answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it, so I was, really, I was really excited about it all day, and I kept kind of reassuring me, myself, and I was really, I was going to eat my feelings also. Oh. So I was, I was, I was going to buy all the things at the concession stand, and I did, and I rocked up to the yes. concession stand, and I was like, and the raisinets, and, and the, the Twizzlers, popcorn, and the go. Twizzlers. And, um, and I went to pay for it, and she said, are you going to pay with a card? And I said, yeah, do you have a card? I think that would be great. A cart? A cart. <laughs> to take <laughs> all the food? Yeah, I was like, I think we might need to, I, I, I might need some assistance. <laughs> I might need some wheels for this. Yeah, yeah, and please. she was like, no, we do not have carts. But we, you can pay with a card if you wish. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, no, that makes a lot more sense. I thought she offered you a cart yeah, to yeah, take yeah. all of your food to yourself. <laughs> I was going through something, okay, guys? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I ate all the food and just that J-Lo. Oh. She, she got me out of a jam. Yeah, thank yes. you. Jennifer Lopez is the best. She can get you out of a mad, jam. Mad, mad respect. Uh, you have a lot of uh, famous fans of the show. Did anyone ever like surprise you? Like you, I know you had uh, President Barack Obama loved that Homeland. Was, that was pretty major, uh, yeah. A-Rod. And, a Rod likes the show, and okay, so maybe the coolest, most amazing fan was Beyonce. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. How did you know that she liked? Well, it? so I was at a fashion award thing, and um, we were both going to present. And I was first. She was anyway. So we were backstage in this little area, and she was wearing like a bedazzled jumpsuit and a giant hat. And it was just like everything you want Beyonce to be. Yes. And I got really stupid. Like I. Like my brain just stopped working. <laughs> Claire, and, uh, it was—it's intense. I mean, it's—it's <laughs> it's her, right? Yeah. And so I was talking, I was saying words, but um, and she said words back, and she said that she was a fan. I remember that distinctly. And yeah, what she, exactly my husband would and I that? really love your show. We watch it all the time. <gasps> That's amazing. And she said she had just finished her tour. And I said, oh, wow, wow, that's, well, you must be exhausted. Are you going to take like a little break or something? She said, yeah, 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 we're going to go on vacation. I was like, really? Where are you, where are you going to go? And she, she said, yeah, no, we're thinking about it. And I was like, oh, my God, you don't ask Beyonce where she's going on vacation. <laughs> like, that's not appropriate. <laughs> that's not something you do. <laughs> but um, I said, yeah, 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 no, of course, yeah. Um, so, and then you were a disaster. Me on stage, and I was very happy about that, that we could end our conversation right there. But she was lovely and charming, and Have I was seen just her like a nervous freaking wreck. Um, <laughs> no, she didn't invite me on vacation. Oh, yeah. Beyonce, come on, Claire needs a no, vacation yeah, too. You yeah, need clearly, a break. clearly. Uh, so can you set up this final season? Uh, where are we? Yeah, okay. So, in the end of the last season, Carrie was <laughs> got caught by the bad guys. The, the Ruskies, the Russians, and yeah. so she was held in captivity for seven months and she was denied her meds. It was not pretty, right? Right. So in a prisoner exchange, she finally gets released and we see her at the end of this horrible, horrible experience and she was very altered, right? And clearly in a bad way. And so th the season begins three months later. She's in a rehabilitation center in Germany and she's kind of recovering, but she's still sensitive. and. Um, 
Um, and it's not clear even to her what happened during that time. And there are concerns that maybe she was compromised and maybe she was in fact turned. So it's kind of cool. So in the final season, she's, she's sort of aligned with Brody in a way, um, full circle, very elegant storytelling there. But, and of course, there's drama in Afghanistan. Yep. Saul needs her. Yep. He takes her out prematurely and uh, it's risky. But there you go. There you go. Uh on and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.